this video it's about some updates about me and situation in Poland about this quarantine uh, how are things going here if you want to know keep watching hello guys welcome back to my channel african queen in poland my name is samira i'm from equatorial guinea and i share my life in poland if it's your first time here please don't forget to subscribe and activate your notification because it's very important for me i need your support to grow up my channel and i cannot do this alone only with your help and if you're my supporter since day one you are probably wondering where is african queen in poland here is she she's back I received few messages from people who were asking me uh, if I'm safe, why I don't make videos, that they missed watching my videos, they missed me and so on. And it was very, very nice from you. I was feeling so blessed to have people who were worried about me, who were checking on me. People I have never met who don't know me personally, but they, they were asking me where I am, why I don't post, if I'm safe, if I'm sick. It was very, very nice from you and thank you so much for your love and your support okay first of all i will give you some updates about uh, how i was living this quarantine why i disappeared why i was not making new videos being locked was not easy for me i guess that it was the same for many other people but i'm just explaining why i was not making videos so it's because i was not feeling mentally well i was starting to be depressed um, being at home was making me and it's still making me eat a lot and i'm just thinking about eating i couldn't focus on something else and i didn't have envy i didn't have that motivation to make videos because i remember when i was younger i used to think that depression was just for rich people or for european people i mean i was thinking that it's a um, disease of people who don't have problems because i couldn't realize that people could feel mentally not good and now i know that depression is real because when i see what i was going through i think that i was starting to be depressed not traveling really makes me depressed and what's more when you have to be locked down when you are obliged to follow rules it's it's more difficult so i don't feel like making videos and sharing sadness with you because i want my my channel to be a channel of happiness you know of peace of just sharing love for someone like me who loves traveling this lockdown was really really difficult because i had so many plans to places where i was supposed to go and all my tickets i i had booked and all these things and you know i was so depressed and and i was just eating eating when i don't feel well mentally i focus just on eating and it's not good for my body because the same time i want to lose body and the same time i love eating so it was not easy another thing is that i'm not able to style my own hair so it was making me also depressed the fact that i couldn't go to my friend to make my hair was difficult also for me and yeah you know some girls they like to do their own makeup or buy clothes or shoes but for me i like when my hair is clean well done when my nails are done you know it's making me feel good if you watch my video about waxing you know that i'm a hairy person so it's difficult for me to stay more than three weeks without having my wax done uh, because i'm starting to have hair on the face and it's not comfortable for me i was even obliged to buy uh, wax strips in the grocery but the problem is that my skin is so sensitive that uh, when I, I tried to use that I have pimples my skin reacted and you know I think that you can see even uh, on the video that I still have these pimples and you know I was not feeling comfortable but now I'm starting to get used to and I hope that soon we'll be able to go back to normal life but the most important is that I'm grateful that my family is safe we are nobody was sick we have food to eat we have a place to sleep so I'm grateful to God that we don't have all this issue I hope that is the same for you about new rules in Poland from the 20th of April there are new rules about the lockdown so now we can go out but we have to wear masks because if police will catch you outside without mask you can receive a fine more people can be in grocery for shopping but they have to respect two meters of distance and we are able to go to park to forest uh, if you want to run or bike for religious worship they said one person for 15 meters we have to maintain two meters of distance in public places 
with another people. About work and education, till now uh, many people are working from home, it's my case. Many companies, school, borders are still closed, but I've heard that since uh, next week uh, few people can be able to go back to work, people like physiotherapists. There are also sanitary rules in public places. People have to disinfect their hands. There are some changes. Uh, we are going slowly back to normal life. About work permit, I still reply to everyone who is sending me email or messages. Uh, for the moment, I'm not taking new candidates because as you know, borders are closed. It's not logic to start the process um, if we are not sure that borders will be open soon and that you can request your visa. So I prefer to wait that things go back uh, to normality and then I will start again with new process. For the moment, I'm just uh, staying with my uh, first candidate. Currently, I have to work permit from my candidates which are ready and I sent already two by DHL uh, in Nigeria so we are just waiting and we hope that um, embassy will be open soon and that uh, borders will be open soon but also one of the reasons why I was uh, feeling not good because you know I want to help people and we were we were already closed for them to request their visa they had already their document and you know and this just happened like this and we can do nothing we have just to wait and it's it's making me also sad because i'm responsible of those process i'm responsible of those people who trust me but i don't have a possibility of doing something so we can just wait a few weeks ago i asked to my supporters to tell me what do they think about me and i've got i think 20 or 26 feedbacks it was interesting to read what people who have never met me think about me so it was um, like a test for me to realize what is the image I show through my videos yeah so for my next videos I'll be reading their reaction what they what they said about me what they think about me and it will be very interesting don't forget to activate your belly button if not you will miss that video and I'm not sure that you want to so guys this is what I wanted to share with you today if you learned something new please don't forget to give me one thumbs up subscribe activate your notification and share with your friends thank you for watching bye Bye.